Cybertech Tel Aviv is the biggest and largest event outside the United States in the cyber industry. We have here about 160 delegations from around the world. It's not about Israel, it's about it's an international event. We have also 200 companies and startups visiting us today, not only from Israel again. And we have uh, 170 speakers that came from around the world for, uh, for this company and this event. The technology that was the most um, needed, we can say, and was the cloud, because everything now is going to the cloud, and IoT. Cloud and IoT were the two main topics, and then also we had machine learning and we had quantum computing that are topics that are trending in the cyber area. We deploy a set of virtual hackers in the environment of, uh, of our customers and they uh, simply attack each other continuously and automatically all day long and then they tell our customers what uh, succeeded and what failed. So our customers can know whether their security infrastructure is working as they expected. We are expected to make long password, make them uh, never write them down on a piece of paper, don't write them down on your phone, don't use the password from Facebook, change it every month, it's impossible. All right? We all know that in the end of the day we are just human, we are not computers, not robots, and we make mistakes with that. So this is a new idea, to come and allow the user to do everything they need to do at work without ever having to use a password. Instead, they will use their phone, they will use Touch ID, Face ID, what we are used to, what we love, to do everything that we need to do at work. You can put your name or organizations, for example, many times put the names of their executives or other VIPs in the organization, and we do this monitoring, and we can identify whether it's leaked credentials or leaked uh, private details like a social security number or credit card details, stuff like that. If a threat actor submitted some malware on a Word document, a PDF, Excel, etc., and tried to gain access into an organization, what we do is we look at those documents, we strip out any potential active content within the document, so links, um, could be JavaScript, anything that's embedded in, or nefarious, for example in Excel we remove the, the macros, so those particular threat factors are excluded from the documents and the documents can then enter the organization safe. Huge costs, etc. So the big challenge is with these traditional types of um, network security. What we see is digitalization of core processes. Now, it's everywhere from the, from the part that we interact with the aircraft, the passenger interacts with the aircraft, the way we do the security screening, face recognition, biometrics, uh, the way the airport interacts with the enabled aircraft, and this puts IT at the core of the airport's business. And as a direct effect, what we see is an increase in the attack surface for uh, cyber incidents. Um, this poses a huge challenge for, uh, for the civil aviation industry as a whole. You see so many, so many new companies coming out of Israel. Uh, obviously, with uh, with the army, uh, different factors here. Really, uh, from such a young young age, um, folks are getting heav are heavily investing in cybersecurity. Um, so the education is really key um, here here in Israel. 